guys. I know a few of you guys were gone yesterday, so I'm going to do kind of a refresher with you guys. Yesterday, we took our photos that we printed out. Remember, everything needed to be in one point perspective. And how we found the vanishing point, who can tell me? How did we find the vanishing point? Anybody? Yes, so we had to use our orthogonal lines. So what I did, make sure you guys pay attention if you weren't here yesterday, is I lined up my ruler with my wall and I drew an orthogonal line. And then I did the same thing with my other wall. I even used my rug. Because my rug is lined up with the floor, so that means that it would also go to the vanishing point. So wherever those lines crossed, made what? Where those lines converge, makes what? The vanishing point. So if you have not done that yet, you need to find your vanishing point. Alright, once I have my vanishing point found, then I can start by drawing everything on my paper. Okay, so I started with my vanishing point. I put my vanishing point in the same exact location that I did, that it's located on my picture. Then I drew my wall lines and drew the back wall. All right, Alyssa, are you okay on this section? All right, is there anybody else that was not here that needs help? Because you guys missed quite a bit yesterday. All right, so the next step we're going to do is we're going to work with our walls and then work our way in. So if I look at my photo, I can see that I have some closet doors here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to decide on how tall the, my closet doors should be. They are diagonal, which means what? What do they go to? Can't hear you. What do we need to line it up with? Your vanishing point. So I'm going to draw an orthogonal line for the top of my closet. Then the side of the closet is parallel. So that means it's just straight up and down. It's a, a vertical line. And I'm trying to draw dark enough where you guys can see it. But Closets typically go into the wall a little bit, so I want you guys to pay attention because you have to do this for door frames and windows and things like that, so I need everybody's eyes up. Alright, so I have my top of my closet and the side of my closet. Now I need to draw that frame. So I'm going to draw a parallel line at the top and the bottom corner of that closet. to make my frame. All I'm doing is I'm drawing a rectangle. So this is the inside of that frame. Then I take my corner and I take that to the vanishing point on the top and bottom. Now it looks like it goes into space. You've got the frame now. And from there, I can start drawing like the inside door 
which is still a parallel line, but it stops at that frame. Just like that. So now I have my closet doors. And I'm just going to continue. Alright, so here's what I drew. I know it's kind of hard to see on here. And I drew it on my big paper. So you guys are just going to take it one step at a time. I have a door for uh, a doorway that I need to draw. So again, the top of the door frame goes to the vanishing point. And then I have my sides. This is a very mathematical project, guys. Just take it one piece at a time, break it down into shape. Then I have my door frame. And then this room is even open, like the door's not shut. So what I do is I would draw a wall along the back to make it look like it's continuing into another wall. And I even have furniture and stuff in here that I can draw. But just take it one piece at a time. You're just going to draw what you see. goes along my wall. Then I've got a very large window with a curtain. Just taking it one step at a time. Remember guys, you can erase the X out of the inside of your back wall. Just make sure you keep your vanishing point until you're completely done because you don't want to lose where that vanishing point is. So, I'm going to let you guys work independently. If you need help, let me know. I'll keep this example up on the board so you can see how things are starting to pull together. Start with your walls and work your way in. 